So on my last video, we talked about the Blinkist app and how, you know, they had the pros and cons. This video, we're going to talk about the top five best book summary apps, in my personal opinion. Let's get into it. So starting off in fifth place, we got Instaret. It's very affordable with it being $7.49 a month. Pretty, pretty good for its price. Not only that, but it also has the option to have the unlimited lifetime access, which is completely different for anything else. You can use this instead of having to pay monthly, which is pretty great. You know, you can pay uh, $299 and never pay for it again. And of course, if you want to try it out, you can obviously get it, the free trial for seven days. Links in the description. Overall, there's a decent range of titles in this, but you know, for everything else on the list, it's it's okay. But we got some other stuff to talk about. Coming up at number four, summaries.com. Summaries.com is very fast paced. You know, you can get your book summaries in under 30 minutes, most of them at least. And the cool thing about this one is that you can actually buy the book catalogs on its own instead of actually paying for the entire thing. So if you don't really like paying full time for like a book summary app, because you read one book summary app every once in a while, this is actually quite good for that, you know. And there is the option to pay monthly if you want, but there's also that option, which is really interesting. The only downside with this is that it's heavily focused on business books instead of overall nonfiction books. If you're interested more on business books, the next one's gonna interest you a lot. So let's check it out. Sound Soundview is pretty much based on mainly business kind of books and this one actually has a lot to offer if you really like business books. The summaries cover all areas of career development including leadership skills, productivity and networking. However since it's mainly business it's not that high on the list but again for business best there is. So once again best alternative for business stuff but let's get into the more overall book summaries for non-fiction. For the second best on the list, we got Get Abstract. Get Abstract has the most out of any of these apps towards content or like amount of titles. We get up to 22,000 titles right off the bat. It's also considered the number one book summary app in the entire world. So yeah, it's pretty big. Not only that, but it also includes seven languages, including English, Spanish, Chinese, those are just name me a few there's obviously seven but yeah so if you want to learn a different language by reading in different languages you can which is something that not many book summary apps have to offer which is pretty good however here's where we get to the prices and it gets pretty rough with this one you get the whole thing for $25 and the pro version would be $29 so it's not exactly the most affordable thing but again you get 22,000 titles for the whole thing so you know it's really up to you if you want to check it out for free to see if this is something for you check the description below you get the three day free trial uh, yeah it may be really expensive but thankfully if you're a student studying either college or university if you have your ID you can confirm that you are a student and you can get it free which is pretty great so overall again this one is extremely good if you want to read as many books as possible but it comes at a heavy price coming in at number one we got the blink app. by far my favorite I use it all the time you have 5,000 titles right off the bat and 40 titles every single month so obviously not as much as Get Abstract with their 22,000 titles, but you know, it gets the job done in my opinion. You know, it, there are the issues of sometimes you look it up and you don't get the book, you're fine. But to be honest, for the price you get, this is the best. It's easy to navigate. You can highlight text. You can even listen to podcasts, summarize podcasts. You know, they can go up to two hours. You can just have the, book, the podcast summary right there pretty good so overall if you want a business book summary I suggest summaries.com if you prefer a lot of titles for your book summaries I suggest get abstract but again very expensive 
And so, like I mentioned, I suggest blinkers for people who want something affordable and sufficient. You know, blinkers has its issues, which is you know not as much content as I would want. It's something much better than something like Insta Read, which only has about a thousand titles. Uh, so yeah, it's got a decent amount of titles. I don't think it's gonna be a big issue. And again, if you do see an issue, what I suggest you doing is maybe go on in the description below, find the Blinkist or Get Abstract free trials. They're both. I think Get Abstract is three da. I think Get Abstract is three days free trial and blink is seven days so it's it's a lot of time to kind of get used to it and see if you like it if you like this video then uh, make sure you like comment and subscribe and also again all the links are in the description below you can find a website there explaining all about every single one in even more detail this was just kind of summarizing the book summaries absolutely